Hello, Bob Hall here with another Wholesome Farm video. Today I want to make another video updating the progress we're making here uh, in the greenhouse and the aquaponics system. If you remember, um, a few weeks ago we lost all the vegetables due to a uh, malfunctioning heater. And so I transplanted the fruit that got damaged and they all sprouted up and are growing well and I'll show you here in a second how we potted a bunch up. We're going to move them out into the food forest in about a month. But uh, right now we're converting everything to lettuce and I want to show you how we seed that lettuce and what we're going to do and uh, a couple, couple tricks and things I found out. Okay, here along the side of the greenhouse you can see where we potted up a whole bunch of the uh, tomatoes and pepper plants. All these uh, were from starts that we seeded here from the damaged uh, vegetables, peppers and uh, that. So I still have some tomato plants left. I've been giving them away and some pepper plants. I've been giving those away. But uh, anyway, I've got them on this side too. Just a whole bunch of trays. Close to 500 all together that we're going to put out in the food forest. Also, I've got another video I'm making and uh, which I bought a thousand plugs of this is um, cabbage that we're planting out in the food forest right now and then here's the uh, box of broccoli a thousand of those and um, we just had a big rain so we had to stop uh, we'll we'll put some more out Friday but here's one of the things I want to show you since I'm converting this greenhouse to lettuce one of the things I want to grow in here is a musclin mix. And you can see here I planted a little over a week ago this bed and I used a Dixie cup to put the seeds in and shake, you know, I just shook the, the cup over and you can see I got it real dense in some areas and a little sparse and then uh, I came across a, a new tool. I bought some tools and it had a, a cedar in there and so I just did this one a few days ago and you can see I'm getting a much more even coverage in this bed and so I like this tool a whole lot and I'll show you one right here this is uh you've probably seen those before but that's the the tool you put your seeds there and the right here and you can turn this so you can get the size seeds you want just the right hole and then you just kind of shake it and I'll be using that here in a minute and uh, I'll show you how because I'm going to seed another bed now I want to show you down here I'm, I'm in the process of converting all these beds this one still has some peppers and stuff growing I haven't converted but this one here this is a bed that I'm seeding and you see how well these are growing uh, these will grow in, in about another week I'll be transplanting them into the raft system. These are these are the heads of lettuce. So I'm s saving one bed to seed the uh, lettuces that are going to go in the raft system, and the rest of these are going to be going into uh, uh, a salad mix. And I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to seed this bed right here, right now, and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, we're ready to uh, get ready. We're to seed our bed. And I've got here a all-star gourmet lettuce mix from uh, Johnny Seeds. It's got like seven or eight different types of leaf lettuce inside. What I'm going to do is open this package and this thing it just pops off and, and I always do this over the bed in case I spill. that back up and then on for these seeds I like to use the number two uh, setting it's a smaller hole but you just sit that down you can turn it and now I've got number two also I want to mention real important is uh, to keep a log a note of what you plant the lot number and the day and then I put down when it germinates and uh, I try to keep all the records I can on it to help me in the future to know what grows best 
how long it takes to germinate, etc. And uh, I've switched to Johnny Seeds because other seed companies I've tried, the first batch or two they'll have some good germination, but you know, and I know you lose some germination the following year or later in the year, but I mean, I'm going from like a 90 to 95 percent germination down to one or two percent, and uh, so Johnny guarantees their seeds, so um, I'm just switching. I don't have time to mess with other companies and and uh, hassle with that. So just find a product that's good and works and go with it. So I want to get a nice even. So I just start shaking these out and it kind of gives a nice broad covering of seeds. And this is an aquaponic system, so it's all gravel. There's no, uh, there's no dirt in here. I'll see the rest of this in a minute. But I want to show you now that the seeds are down, because it's just granite, I just come around and I just kind of work the seeds in. And uh, it's getting hot in here, but that that's all there is to it. And in about three days, these should germinate. Uh, that's how the other. So about every five days or so, I've been seeding a new bed so that they don't all come to maturity at once. Um, anyway, that's that's how simple it is to seed. And then when these grow, all I'm going to do is cut the lettuce, the leaf lettuce. I just cut it, uh, take it and clean it and bag it, and then the lettuce that's left, it'll grow again. So I'll be able to get many, many harvests out of these seeds, and uh, I just need to get them established, and uh, it'll just grow like a carpet or grass, and we just cut it, and, and uh, we're good to go. So hopefully, uh, you can do this in the dirt too, uh, but since I've got the greenhouses, it's more profitable to do leafy greens than it is uh, to grow tomatoes or anything here. We're going to grow those out in the food forest, and we'll have a video on that. Anyway, if you like what we're doing here, we'd appreciate it if you share our videos with others. Hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel. And uh, for all these tools that I use, I'll have a link down below where you can go and look them up and uh, and uh, get them if they think they'll be good for you. Anyway, we appreciate you watching.